Hey guys, I am the Sega Scourge. I've been meaning to make this video for a very long time, and I've been waiting for the precise and perfect moment to do it. It couldn't have been done before, it couldn't have been done after, it had to be done right now for various reasons. This video is probably going to be a temporary thing. This won't stay up on the channel. This is, uh, felt cute, might delete later sort of thing. I just want this video here right now for my subscribers to see it, for, to, for them to know what's going on. I'm here to announce that I am coming back. I am here to announce that Sonic What If will continue. Some of you have probably seen some signs of life on the channel as of late. You've seen thumbnails changing or descriptions changing and little tiny things happening all over the channel because I was lurking this whole time. I was lurking in the shadows, correcting everything and, and making everything spick and span for for the inevitable return. If you look at the, like, time code of the video, you'll probably see, like, sections of different things I'm talking about, because I want to break it up into the parts I guess people are most interested in hearing about. To start with, where the f*** did I go? That's a very valid question, and it's one that I don't really have an answer for. More so, I don't know if I could provide a proper answer. I'm just going to try and go into this real quick. To try and cut a very big story short, there was a lot of stuff going on and is still going on in my personal life. Things to do with me, things to do with my family. I needed to put my attention and my focus elsewhere for the time being. I was in the middle of making videos already. I was already working on new content, but we were still smack in the middle of COVID lockdowns and stuff. And I don't want to say like that was the reason. There was a lot of different things going on. It just didn't help. It was a really rough time. And while all of the personal stuff was going on that I can't really go into, just a, a lot of my collaborators at the time, people who I work with, artists, everyone, Everybody was busy, you know, and, and that's completely fine. Obviously, everybody's got their own lives. I always make that, like, abundantly clear when working with people that, like, they should take as long as they need because this that everybody has different shit going on. But around that time, everybody was, for, for, for whatever personal reasons, just, just not available. Things weren't chugging along in the way that I wanted them to, and it led to me feeling very and depressed and demotivated and there was a little bit of burnout sprinkled in for good measure and it just kind of felt like nothing was gonna happen you know it felt like the brakes had been hit and there was nothing i could do about it people ask me like why didn't you just do a community post why didn't you just tell people what was going on that's the kicker it really got to a point where so much time had gone by it felt like if I even appeared, if I even hinted at the fact that I was around, that I was alive, the floodgates would open. Everybody would hit me. Bam, bam. When's the next video? Da, da, da. Questions, questions, questions. And I just couldn't handle that at the time. That's the, the best way I can put it. It was just a really shitty time where I was... I just got really down to do with the channel to the point that, like, I didn't even want to hear about it. I didn't even want to think about it. And every time it was brought up in, like, a friend circle or something, I would be like, can we, like, change the subject? I don't want to talk about that. You know, it was like, it was another sad thing, a failure. It was a failure to me, like so many other things that were going on at the time in my life. That's not fair on you guys. And I, I already know that. That's, there's no excuse for it. There's no sorry, because sorry just wouldn't be good enough. It wasn't fair on you. So people were genuinely worried. There was like Reddit posts asking where the f*** I am. People legitimately thinking that I had died. People legitimately thinking that something bad had happened to me. And I, I was completely radio silent of my own volition. I, I was willingly radio silent because I didn't know what else to do. I was, I was truly scared to say anything, to show my presence. I know that's, that's a lame excuse, and I know some people are probably thinking, like, what the f I'm just being completely honest here. 
that's what I was feeling at the time. And that's why this, what was meant to be a short hiatus turned into a two year hiatus. But I've been trying to make amends for it. I've been all over YouTube for the past few weeks, going on months now, answering a backlog of two years worth of comments all across different videos, as many as I can. I've gone back to the last community post that I put up and answered like every comment there. I wanted every single person to know personally that I hadn't ghosted them and that I was okay and that I am coming back. I, I don't know what it was that where, where I was, but something happened. Something just happened like a few months back where I woke up and I just said, fuck, I want to start making videos like right now. And, I, and from then on, I've been scripting, collaborating. I've been doing so much behind the scenes, pulling extensive hours in between like, you know, personal stuff and IRL stuff. Like even now as this video, as you're seeing this video, I'm going on like, what is it now? Nearly 20... I've I've been awake nearly almost 27 hours while you're seeing this. This is just one of what has been a routine for me lately of extremely long hours and all-nighters because I am so dedicated to coming back and continuing where I left off. Com not just continuing where I left off, but continuing better than I ever was. All I can say to the people who have been commenting the things they've commented and and for, for almost two years now coming back again and again, dedicated, asking where I am and, and just like ma almost making a memorial out of my channel. All I can say to those people is you are f***ing awesome. It's, it's a really precious and important thing. And, and it's, it's all part of the reason why you're seeing this video and why I'm making this announcement that I want to return and I want to do better. I wanted to discuss my plans going forward for the channel and for Sonic What If in specific, because part of what led me to this just state of burnout and just feeling crappy was, was the entire process behind developing Sonic What If videos. A lot of you may not know, but like it, it's really fucking hard to like do these videos sometimes. Like I face a lot of hardware issues. I, sh malfunctioning on me like every half an hour on top of just the routine overall and how i develop the videos the way i do i use a lot of like custom imagery i, I use a lot of edited imagery anything i can really to convey the story and i think that level of like over attentiveness to how it should be is also what kind of was my downfall i think going forward i would like to limit certain things in the in an effort to create the videos easier and in that realm of what i want to change to achieve this is i might try and cut back on the sheer quantity of custom artwork and the sheer quantity of of images showing up in the video you know and maybe focus a little bit more on the the narrative audio storytelling side i used a lot of custom music as well i'd like to to chill the fuck out with that as well and and maybe just just default to using some some good old-fashioned sonic background music and stuff for certain scenes appropriate sonic music depending on what's happening in the story hopefully that sounds okay to you guys hopefully it's a a, a an acceptable trade-off for for what if coming back at all really again I, it doesn't mean that i'm trying to stop enhancing the level of quality because there's so much that's going to be different when we come back and you'll i can't really say what it is right now but there's just so many different things everything is getting a facelift essentially it doesn't mean that i'm i'm not trying to enhance the level of quality i'm just trying to slice down the amount of things required for it to happen to make my side of it a little bit easier because before it was just like just stress 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 kind of thing and and i, I want to make it all a, a much more enriching and more fun process going forward to veer slightly onto some other topics because i'm i am running short on time while recording this there are two things uh two videos that i want to bring up one is um, what if Emerald survived part four? You may have noticed that that video has mysteriously disappeared. The reason for that is because YouTube, for some reason, glitched the ever-living fuck out of the video and 
towards the halfway portion, the video just freezes, but the audio kept going. So I had no choice but to take the video down, re-edit it, and even correct a few things that I wasn't happy with in the original video, maybe throw a few new things in too. That video, Emerald Part 4, will be getting re-uploaded in the days following you seeing this video. So it won't be long now, and it'll be back up, and it'll be back in the playlist. So, you know, for those wondering, that's what happened with that. Another thing is, what if Sonic lost his memory episode Shadow. Some of you may remember there was a spin-off episode focusing on the exploits of Shadow during his absence in Lost Memory and the events that led him to become Black Shadow. That has also been taken down, and it is not for a YouTube reason. That one was me. That was all me. Unfortunately, for those who were a fan of that video, you won't be seeing it go back up. And the reason for that is because I actually plan to retell that story in Black Shadow Exodus, the audio drama series that I did a pilot for. The retold episode Shadow will debut as the first episode of Black Shadow Exodus as a sort of like episode zero. Kind of good news and bad news there. The, the bad news is you won't be seeing episode Shadow go back up, but the good news is that you will be getting a really cool retold version in audio drama form with voice actors and sounds and all kinds of cool sh On the topic of things I am cutting away from me or my channel or whatever, or what if, by the time of this video going up, you should this should all be in effect, but you probably have noticed, anyone who follows me on like Twitter and stuff knows I haven't posted on there in like God knows how long. Mainly because I think Twitter's a pile of shit, and I just don't feel inclined to post anything on there nowadays, and I feel like most of the posts I could do could just be through, you know, here on YouTube, community posts. I'm kind of a a private guy. I'm not. I, I, it was. It was an extra layer of stress of like feeling like I constantly need to post something. I just don't really want to deal with the whole like Twitter shebang. That said, however, I have created as of now a, a different Twitter, um, which is mainly going to be like used for like contacting people and like business stuff and a locked account you won't see me posting anything on there anyway it'll be linked but it's it's just for networking purposes to do with the videos and nothing more than that really something else that's that's far more important than the twitter stuff the patreon um for those of you who know i had a patreon and and said patreon has been frozen for quite some time meaning i've been uh, locking it and preventing any further pledges or, or preventing money from being taken from people each month. And I was kind of incentivizing people to just like unpledge anyway. I've already alerted the, the few Patreon folks that this is happening, but another part of, of trying to streamline everything involves me deleting Patreon altogether and just ceasing it. Patreon was just this obligation that I created for myself. It's like I made my own life harder. Not only was I making videos and stuff, but I was constantly having to think of like what can go on Patreon and like what people wanted to see. And, and I was like saving one version of a video here and then saving another Patreon version of the video there. And it was just a whole bag of, of stress that I, I'd like to get rid of, um, from, from here on out. But I'm, unbelievably thankful to the people who were pledged to me and some of which who stayed pledged over the two years and just for it let it be known now to patreon people or anyone who pledged any of the money that did come through i have since collected and i've put it aside to specifically upgrading the rig that i use to create these videos I'm trying to iron out all the bugs I had with recording. As I mentioned before, there was always issues. And I've since managed to grab additional pieces of hardware and stuff that will hopefully make everything a lot easier going forward. And that's thanks to the funds that were generously donated by Patreon supporters. So thank you to those people who did that. I think instead of the Patreon side, I would like to do something a lot more simple. I'd like to switch over to YouTube memberships. When I come back to uploading with the first What If, you'll see a, a join button and I'll have uh, a YouTube membership section with badges, 
with custom emotes and stuff that can be used in premieres and in the comments, all for a really low, singular, fixed, unchanging price between like the, the two to five dollar range or something like that. One, that's just a lot more manageable for me. And two, I think it's just a lot more fun and more engaging with the videos here on YouTube. I think YouTube memberships would be better for that. So that's what will be replacing the Patreon side. The only thing I really have left to say is uh, please just stay tuned. I'm not quite ready for the full return to uploading. I am on my way. I just ask that you bear with me a little bit longer. Give me a little bit more wiggle room to get everything done that needs doing. It might still be a month or two. Like I want to say months, plural. You know, I'm only human. I'm only one guy. Uh, I'm getting a lot of unbelievable help, though, from some really kick-ass people. So many... Di I, I really don't want to give out any specific shout-outs because then I'll, like, forget someone and feel like an ass for not remembering how much amazing stuff they've done for me. So I just want to say, like, you know who you are and you've been helping tremendously to help get me you know, back on my feet, so to speak. I've been the Sega Scourge, and I'll see you guys in the next Sonic What If. Take care.